Hey y'all, N4H and H here. As usual, chasing these QRP soda stations. Uh, the question, which radio do you think has the most sensitive receiver? The FTDX10 or the FTDX5000 MP? The 5000 MP is, uh, well, that's 2009 technology. There were some upgrades, of course, made to it over the years, and mine is a 2019 model. There we go, Ghost Station out in Arizona. And um, let's see uh, which radio is the most sensitive. I've got all my typical filtering engaged. 300 hertz roofing filter, amp two, DNR is at 15. Notch trick engaged at 570. APF is engaged. So we're going to answer that question once he sends again. Because, okay, if you know where to look at the specs and you look on paper, the FTDX-10 edges out the FTDX-5000 ever so slightly on paper. Uh, you know, as far as the sensitivity measurement. Okay, you hear that ghost stage? He's fading up and down a little bit, so I'm going to have to do a quick switch when I do it. Wow, he's spanked. Go into the 5,000. Both radios have him centered up at 18.091.930. I know the 5000 is within about a half hertz accuracy. It's unbelievable. But it has an oven controlled crystal oscillator. But the um, FTDX10 with its TCXO is right with the 5000. There's that ghost station on that 2009 technology. Okay, agreed. A 2019 version of that radio. So you see, you know, you just can't um, go by just the specs on paper and go, this radio is better than that one. You, you do have to have some real world experience. And I did that for eight months. And I chose that FTDX 5000 MP over an FTDX 101 MP. Now, granted, had I been drawn to digital modes and the, you know, waterfalls and things like that, then that would have had to win out. But what won for me was the tremendous receiver and the knobs. You know, uh, everything I really need to get to, I can get to with a button or a knob. Uh, occasionally, if I want to make a menu change, yeah, there's a menu. But, um, most of the things that you need to get to are, are knobs or buttons rather than going into a function menu. There is no function menu. There's just a menu. Whereas with the FTDX10, you have a function menu and then you have the deeper level menu that's more global settings. But there he is calling CQ. Now I'm going to go back to the 10. So, you know, on paper, the 10 should win. But I got to tell you, it's, it's, it's very minute, the difference in sensitivity. I believe it's like a 0.15 microvolt for the 10 and a 0.20 for the FTDX 5000 MP. But you see, you can't just go by specs. You can't just go by... Even uh, just the one test that Rob Sherwood runs, although I would argue that is a very important test because that's 
measuring the ability of the radio to hear a weak signal when you've got interference from a strong signal. We all, I think we can all agree that that's a very important test. But here we go. I mean, you know, when you actually get the radios operating side by side and AB them, um, they're neck to neck. Now, by the way, anything in Rob Sherwood's list in the top 10 is a good radio, a great radio. And you can just about choose based upon uh, brand loyalty, or you can choose based upon ergonomics, um, you know, knob placement, menu, menu accessibility, things like that. Um, <laughs> you can even just pick based on looks, the way the radio looks. You know, it, it's just, uh, you got to get these radios into a practical operation and, uh, and try them out for yourself. I admit, I was very fortunate because I could drive down to Ham Radio Outlet, which is about a 30 minute drive for me. And over a period of about eight months, some of you know that I would spend about, well, uh, much to their dismay, I would spend about three hours there over a period of eight months. I would go down there, oh, every, you know, three to four weeks. And I'd sit there for three hours comparing one radio to the other radio, back and forth, all on the same antenna, listening to the same signals, CW sideband, everything, you know. Um, and eight months later, I walked out with a 5,000. Not my first choice. Not my first choice. I knew it was a good radio, but I didn't even go in to buy a Yesu. You know, and no, I do not work for Yesu. Many of you know that. Um, I'm no shill for Yesu. I get, I get no money from Yesu. They get a lot of money from, quite honestly, from my videos. But, you know, my channel, thanks to the Patreon support team, I'm giving you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, sometimes I'm sure I make a manufacturer mad if they watch my channel because I'm going to show some of the, the negative as well. Uh, but let's face it, there, there is no perfect radio. I've said that before. And so you got to pick a radio based on your operating style. So I would say to you, if you're mostly into digital modes, you're going to want an FT uh, DX10 or an FT710 AESS. Um, if you want the big boy, the FTDX 101, um, or you're going to want an IC7300, plenty, plenty good for digital modes. Um, you know, if you're kind of focused on certain operating styles, that's, then, then choose a radio based upon that. I'm all over the map. I'm even changing bands all day long. If you've watched my video about train your tuner, you know, that's because I want to be able to change bands and immediately dial up, you know, the frequency for whoever I'm chasing, usually a soda operator, you know, QRP. And I don't want to have to fool with tuning an amplifier or tuning a tuner, you know, getting a tuner set up. So I love using, uh, and I won't pan over there to it, you've seen it ad nauseum in videos, my Elecraft amplifier that has an integrated tuner. And I literally just change bands and transmit. So I'm all over the place, all over the modes, CW, sideband, um, and sometimes FT8, FM. And so I need quick, um, the ability to quickly switch modes. And by the way, even with the Elecraft uh, amp over there, it even switches to my favorite antenna for the band I just switched over to. Uh, so, you know, that's just ultimate automation, I call it, in one of the videos. So uh, you got to pick a radio based upon your operating style. And then, you know, now if you're a person that contests a lot, you got to consider that Sherwood list because that measurement is, is going to give you an indication of the ability of you, your, the radio to be able to hear when you're trying to work a, a contest and you got people piled up, up and down the band, you know? So if you're into contesting, you're going to want to look at that. If you're looking, if you work uh, weak, DX stations, you know, rare DX, things like that. Prob you probably want to take into consideration uh, one of the radios in Sherwood's top 10 list. Quite honestly, even the ones in the top 20 are good radios. But if you get to the top 10, like I said, you can pick it based upon looks. The FTDX 10, uh, oh, sorry, 5000 MP right now is actually only in the top 20. It used to be around 11, and now it's worked its way down. I think it's around 14. Um, because of the FTDX10 coming along, the FT710 coming along. Uh, I mean, the IC7300 is now down at position 22 as I film this. Um, so as radios come out that get into the top 10, they push others down. But here you, here you go. In this video, in actual practice, 
Um, the sensitivity wise, the FTDX 5000 is hanging right in there with the FTDX 10. Um, in this particular scenario, I don't know what you heard, but to me, it was even a little bit better. Uh, but on paper, it shouldn't be. So be careful about just picking a radio on specs. And if you have the luxury of being able to go to a store and sit down and actually put your hands on them, uh, by all means, do that. That was the that was the fortunate thing for me, and that's kind of why I started this channel. I wanted to, as much as possible, give you a vision, a, a visibility of what I went through trying to test the radios and putting them through their paces. Not in a lab, but, you know, actual operating. I come down here to operate. This is what's happened today. I've shot three videos today. Um, now, I'll have to edit them and get them into the queue. This, this video may not be seen for three or four months, but the uh, the idea is I come into the shack to operate and then something happens and I go, well, that's a teachable moment. So just kind of bear all those things in mind when you're choosing a radio. I may even title this something to do with choosing a radio. Not sure. But, um, you know, this was a sensitivity video. I've already shot a video where I put the 5000 up against the 10, that is the FTDX 10. I put them up against one another trying to block uh, interference say on CW from nearby and they both did equally well at blocking interference from 100 Hertz away on CW I could literally have a QSO while somebody else was having a QSO 100 Hertz away so uh, I've already done that particular video but today was a sensitivity video okay I hope you found the video helpful and informative thank you to the Patreon support team who bring you these videos. If you're watching a video now, it's because of what I call the long haulers. They've uh, joined through the Patreon uh, program and supported this channel for a year and two and even more. Uh, those long haulers are what, you know, funds the channel enough that I can keep these videos coming. So, um, you know, I appreciate any, any level you can help though. Uh, there are three levels of support. You can find one that's comfortable for you if you like this type of content and want to see it continue. Uh, you can vote. As they say, vote with your wallet um, to help uh, offset the cost of doing this. To uh, join that team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's R-E-O-N.com forward slash N4H&H. And if you would, give the video a thumbs up, a like. That helps us out with YouTube's search algorithm and costs you nothing, and you're actually helping the channel uh, by doing that. And also consider subscribing to the channel. That helps as well. If you do subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video, usually two a week, occasionally a third um, and also, finally, if you would, please share the link to this video on social media, text message, email, or phone a friend. Hey, thanks again for watching, and 73 from N4HNH.